One of the things that's interesting in your work is you, you make a connection between interpersonal harm that we do to each other and societal violence, war, right. uh, and things of that nature. How, what do you see as the connection between how the individual, how individuals harm each other and uh, how societies wind up uh, 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 committing violence against other societies? In the process of defending ourselves, we f tend to form a fantasy bond. We, we tend to idealize and connect to things in our lives. We tend to feel superior to others. We tend, our families are, we see our family as superior to the next. And this extends into neighborhoods, cities, national policies, and so on. We become progressively alienated to the extent that we defend ourselves from other people. <clears throat> and society represents a pooling of individual defenses. So basically, we're, uh, we're organizing our defenses and we attach to people close to us, to us and we feel, and we form defenses and we're suspicious of people who think differently than we do, who have different ideas, who threaten our defenses. So on a societal level, we, we're, we're uh, polarized against other peoples. So the very thing that gives us comfort and safety, this kind of fantasy bond or connection, uh, this kind of illusion of connectedness is the very thing that sets us apart on the one hand. For example, different religious beliefs polarize against other religious beliefs, one race against the next, and so on and so forth, in such ways that it emphasizes ethnic differences and leads to horrible, terrible things like ethnic cleansing and wars and so on and so forth. Basically, the very defenses that protect us also alienate us from other people. 